Hi, this is Mrs. Often, and today we're going to be talking about standard unit vectors and direction angles. There are two standard unit vectors. The first standard unit vector is I, 1, 0. The second unit vector, standard unit vector, is J, 0, 1. So I goes horizontally along the positive x-axis and has a length of 1. J travels vertically along the positive y-axis and also has a length of 1. And so these are called standard unit vectors. This introduces another way of writing vectors. The vector that we have written as 3, 4 using component notation can also be written in standard unit vector notation as 3i plus 4j. So this is just a different way of writing the notation. If you want to, you can think about it like there's Arabic numerals that we write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then there's Roman numerals, I, 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 V. So it's just two different ways of conveying the same information. It is important for this course that you're able to translate between the two representations. So I have my first little set of problems. We're going to write these in component form. Our first sample, 8i plus 3j. So this is traveling 8 units along the x direction and positive 3 units in the y direction. So these are two ways of saying the same thing. Our second sample, 12i, is traveling 12 units along the positive x-axis. So its component form is 12, comma, there's no j here. So that means it's traveling 0 units along the positive y-axis. In component form, the vector 12i is written as 12, 0. Finally, our third vector, negative 3i minus 7j, is traveling 3 units to the left on the x-axis and 7 units down on the y-axis. In component form, it's written as negative 3, negative 7. We can also take component vectors and write them in standard unit vector form. This vector, 12, 4, can also be written as 12i plus 4j. The vector negative 7, 8 can be written as negative 7i plus 8j. And the vector 0, negative 2 could be written as 0i minus 2j, but it's uncommon to see people writing things like 0i. So usually what you're going to see is just that negative 2j for the standard unit vector form. And this says it doesn't go anywhere along the x-axis, but it goes straight down on the y. Okay, so that's switching between standard unit vectors and component form. Now, oftentimes, we may be given a vector that is in component form and asked to find the angle that it makes with the positive x-axis. Or we may be given information about the magnitude of a vector and the direction angle, the angle it forms with the positive x-axis, and asked to find its components. So I've represented my vector v as a little right triangle here. v is the hypotenuse of that right triangle. And V makes an angle of theta with the positive x-axis. The distance from the initial point until right underneath the terminal point of V can be found using the expression magnitude of V times cosine of theta. To find the distance vertically from the initial point to just next to the terminal point of v, basically how high up does the vector go, we can do magnitude of v times sine of theta. Now we find the magnitude of v 
because just like before when we were working with um, finding values of any trigonometric function, we kept the hypotenuse of the triangle positive. We want to do the same thing here. Again, this theta is the direction angle of the vector, and it's measured from the positive x-axis. In class, we've talked about things like bearings. Find your direction angle first, and then you can go from there to working with the bearings. But find the direction angle first. And please do recall from trigonometry, sine of theta equals opposite over hypotenuse, cosine adjacent over hypotenuse, tangent is opposite over adjacent. You definitely want to have this little picture copied down. That's what we're going to be using. Okay. The first thing that we're going to do is calculate a direction angle. So here's the vector P. It has a component form of 3, negative 7. I've drawn vector P here, and you can see that it is in the fourth quadrant. It's moved 3 units to the right along the x-axis and 7 units down. What angle is this making with the positive x-axis? Well, I'm going to end up finding first the reference angle in here, and I'm going to do that using the tangent because 3 is the opposite. I'm sorry, negative 7 is the opposite, and 3 is the adjacent. So if I work with this, I'll get theta is inverse tangent of negative 7 over 3. I'll use my calculator to find that value. So inverse tangent of negative 2.33333 gives me negative 66.8. That theta is really theta prime the reference angle, 66.8. In order to figure out what this angle is, I'm going to do 360 minus 66.8. And I get that theta equals 293.2 degrees. This angle, therefore, is 293.2 degrees. Looking at this, I would say that seems pretty accurate. It's just a little bit past 270, the start of quadrant four. Now, the other thing that we need to be able to do is to determine the component form of a vector. Let's say that I have a vector m and that vector has a magnitude of 10, and it has a direction angle theta of 120 degrees. I want to find the component form of m. Well, I've drawn m here, and as you can see, it's in the second quadrant, and at 120 degrees has a little bit more y than x, and the x value is definitely negative. So in order to find the x component, I'm going to use the formula that was given with that triangle we had a couple of slides ago. I'm going to do the magnitude of m times the cosine of theta. So the magnitude of m is 10 times cosine of 120. Cosine of 120 is negative 0.5. So I'm going to have negative 5 for my x component. For my y component, I'm going to do magnitude of m times sine of theta, or 10 times sine 120. So sine of 120 is um, positive 0.866.
Therefore, my component form for m is negative 5, comma, 8.66. It's a good thing to do to check and just be sure that this does give you that magnitude of 10. I'll go ahead and do that right now by doing 8.66 squared. That's 74.9956. If I add to that 5 squared, or negative 5 squared, which is 25, I get 99.9956. Taking the square root of this value gives me 9.999, which is darn close to that magnitude of 10. So there you have information on your standard unit vectors and how to calculate and use a direction angle of a vector.